Hola. 6.48 a.m. He's got his first chemotherapy treatment today. So that's where we're going. Yay. Yay. That'll suck four or five hours out of our life. Yeah. So I'll vlog as much as I can. See how that goes. They're not usually too bad about it in there. As long as there's not a whole bunch of other people. So, yeah. Just a bunch of people that are getting drugs. So, yeah. So that's what we're doing. We're going to the cancer center. What are you doing? Well, Miss Gabrielle, the nurse, who, whose face shall not be seen. I'm a first patient of the day. I'm a first, am, I, am I your first patient yeah. here? I mean, yeah. this is your first no, day? No, I've been here five weeks. Oh, okay. Oh, so well. she's not new. <laughs> oh. She's just a little new. <laughs> All right, so you've done this before. I worked at the hospital for 12 years. Oh, well, that makes me okay. feel a little bit better. <laughs> a little bit better. Well, yeah, so she's only new here. She's not new to the medical she got system. Tired. She got tired of the hospital stuff and decided to come where all the cool people are. I did get tired from the hospital. I work nights. Uh, nighttime in the hospital? That's what, a 7 to 7 shift? Yep. 7 to 7. That, that, was that 6 days a week or just, or is it 4 days, 4 days, 3 days, 4 days? That, how does that work? 3. 3 days. An egg muffin with grape jelly? No, that sounds delicious. You don't know what you're missing. That sounds good. I never would have had it that way, but when we ran restaurants, one of my crew members said, you gotta try this. I'm like, okay. I never really did egg McMuffin. I like a sausage McMuffin. Well, it's the sausage McMuffin. I call it an egg McMuffin, but sausage. Well, I'm gonna go get some breakfast because I don't think That really burns. Still? Are you okay? I'm getting anti-nausea medicine. And as she's putting it in, it's making my nose burn. Good stuff. I've never heard that. <laughs> it's a new one. These are all big news. I'm not a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> or a pharmacist. <laughs> this is the second medicine? Yep. Yeah. We've already been through one bag already? Yeah, this is the stuff that makes you glow in the dark. Probably will be easy to find tonight. <laughs> I don't need to turn my phone on when I get up these no three lights. I'll just, I'll just glow. No need for night lights tonight. <laughs> Maybe we should put black lights. We really should. It's Halloween. We should get black lights all over the house. Probably screw Start with, freaking out screw the kids. with the dogs. Um, all I gotta say is this stuff better work. It will work. Not better work. It will work. I'm not looking forward to the other options. It will work. Say it. Say this it. stuff will work. Okay. What that stuff tastes like. I bet it tastes really gross. Do you want to drink some? Probably, it probably tastes really bitter. A little bit of free sun bag, just take a straw and then just start drinking it. <laughs> what are you doing now? I spent $1.99 so I can pass this level. I'm gonna pass my level. I wouldn't. Spend it all in my It's all about the Catbook coaster. Yeah. This is the Siamese version. 
It's my first attempt at one. It's not bad. It's actually quite easy. Exciting stuff going on here. Yeah. I gotta pay. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that, we're done. It's like magic. Am I blurry? magic. I don't know if you're blurry or... Because I got smudges all over my <laughs> So we're going to stop because I'm going to drink and then we're going to go to the beach. Because, well, why not? Because it's just what we do. It's how we roll. All right. See you in a few. Possibly the last time I'll see you guys today. So yeah. Have a good one. I'm not done yet. You ain't done yet. Shouldn't be done yet. Shouldn't be done yet. Maybe you might see Lacey today. Maybe. She's been kind of absent in the vlogs. She just doesn't really have any interest in it. So, I mean, we're not going to force her to be in the vlogs. It's fun to scare her, though. Scare her, that's fun. It comes and goes. So, we'll see. Have a good one. I'll see you guys later. Well, it's been about six hours since I've completed my first chemo treatment. Um, the chemo concoction is uh, multiple drugs, uh, some steroids that went along with it. But uh, two of the, uh, the primary ones that they're using for this round, uh, one of those is called car carboplatin, and the other one is called etoposide. Um, and that is in a, uh, a solution full of some other stuff that's being administered to me to try to uh, get this tumor under control. So this is day one of chemo. It's only six hours. Uh, what am I feeling? Because some chemo people might want to know or just people might want to know in general. Um, over the last two hours, uh, I can definitely feel uh, lethargy coming in, fatigue. Um, I want to say I feel phantom pain down on my lower left side, but I have for the last couple of days. Whether or not it's really there or not, I don't know. I want to think that it is because it's a physical feeling not so much as a mental manifested feeling but I could be wrong just because I know what's going on down there um, but fatigue right now day one is uh, is the biggest issue as the day wears on um, I can definitely feel the uh, fatigue getting exponential 
So I don't think uh, too much tonight's going to be accomplished. I mean, I got to keep moving, but uh, I have to do what my body tells me to do. I also have an over-the-counter prescription. The other ones were uh, the uh, IV administered ones, but I'm also on a uh, pro prochlorperazine maleate. Don't tell me if I'm pronouncing that right or not. I don't know. Um, and that's basically, uh, you take it as needed for nausea because the medicines I'm on will probably more than likely um, give me some uh, stomach issues, which I had a problem with, with the avalumab, but it was probably for different reasons. The avalumab probably gave it to me because it was irritating my stomach, whereas these other medicines are just going to just make me, the avalumab didn't make me feel nauseous. This is, it's, it's like a different trigger point. We'll see what happens um, day one. Guess you will get to see me again. It is, I don't know what time it is. It's like 9 o'clock. It's something. So, anywho, <laughs> scared Lacey again. I just get a lot of enjoyment out of that. <laughs> she doesn't get so much enjoyment out of that. <coughs> but I thought it was funny, even though she did blow out my eardrum. But, anywho, so yeah, so good news in the midst of a bunch of crap. Um, earlier today, I received a phone call from the, uh, the uh, cancer center down here in uh, Rehoboth, Lewis area. And um, they've been trying the last week to uh, send me to another cancer center for another evaluation. And uh, I received a phone call this afternoon saying that the insurance I have actually approved me to go out of state to the Fox Chase Cancer Center just north of Philly. And I will probably have an appointment with them in the next couple weeks so that way they can uh, see about clinical trials to see if there's something they can provide for me to help me and possibly help everyone else that's inflicted by this yeah normally with the state insurances you can't go out of state to be treated so for them to approve him to go up to pennsylvania to fox chase is a big deal fox chase is is a cancer center it's a it's a cancer it's, it's a clinical trial center well it's not even just that like they they specialize in cancer treatments like all kinds of cancer treatments. I was online looking at it earlier, but it's not like the Tunnel Cancer Center. Like the Tunnel Cancer Center here you, is tunnel... just like a, a small building. This is like a hospital dedicated to cancer. The, the Tunnel Cancer Center would normally use Christiana uh, up in North Delaware yeah. um, to do this kind of stuff, but there's no clinical trials that are actually operating right now for this up in Christiana. Have they don't have anything. And that was the it. only potential option that they had in the entire state of Delaware. So it was, it was a far shot. So they said, we're going to try. And I received a phone call this afternoon and they said, they approved you. And I'm like, they approved me? And they're like, they approved you. And they want to see you like in the next couple of weeks. So your medical records are already up there. So that's awesome. So yeah. So I mean. News on that later. And I wanted to do this vlog this way that you see it to kind of give you a feel for what it is that cancer patients go through when they go through this process because whether whether or not you've experienced this and yourself or you've been with a family member and then you've had to sit there through the whole thing i wanted to i wanted the feel of this particular vlog to be like this this is what happens i mean we spent and it was a three, three hours. four hour ordeal <clears throat> in, in and doing that you know it's basically 10 minutes worth of work and they sit there and monitor you Make sure you, know, it drip, it, you know it drips into his. Into you know, his I mean, because it's, it's an IV, it's an IV service, and when you have multiple drugs and multiple IVs, and they're they're not putting you simultaneously, they're putting you one right after the other. You have to go through the motions. So, while you know whether you like or dislike the video, the intent was is to show you this is 
what it's about when you go to an infusion chemo center. You know, we we want to keep it positive and upbeat as much as possible, but this is what's happening. You know, this is what we're dealing with. So that's what we did. And then we found ghost crabs and Lacey got scared and there's other parts of life too. But yeah, so so good things mundane things it is what it but is. um certainly if you know somebody that's experiencing cancer and they happen to be on your facebook page or they happen to be just somebody that you know personal personally you know share our videos you know there might be something that you know you know we can you know have in common or there might be somebody out there that might see this video and be like hey i know what you're going through you need to do this there might and they be, can get in contact with us and help us there might even be somebody out there that has the type of cancer i have merkel cell in which case look i will be the best most incredible support system you ever have in your life because it's um it's a rare cancer so yeah so i mean I, like the videos share the videos Leave us a comment, you know, and if you haven't, subscribe, please. Yeah. And you're not going to get videos like this every day, but I wanted, I wanted the feel to be the way it was today because that's real life. Okay. Okay. I think we got it. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. See you. See you.